Okay, grab it, grab it, grab it. That's hot. What's going on everybody? It's October 19th. Today we're doing some more tributary fishing. We're going coastal again, baby. We're gonna be fishing uh, out of Ed's pontoon. Just gonna be him and I. Bobber fishing, twitching jigs, throwing spinners, things and such. Anyways guys, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned, two videos a week minimum. Often I'm doing three videos a week right now and uh, just enjoy, man. And uh, also give me a follow on Instagram, at Fish in the Odds. Enjoy the show today, guys. It's gonna be a good one. Morning. You excited? Yeah. Oh. Just got to the spot. It's gonna be a good day, man. We're gonna launch this boat here in a minute. Coastal River here. We're gonna be fishing for coho specifically. There are a lot of Chinook in here, but we're gonna cut up uh, multiple different sizes of eggs. Um, and we're just gonna get them in the egg tray here. I like to cut them in the morning and get everything prepped. Right. That way you don't gotta fiddle with it later. But there's enough light out here now. We're gonna start fishing in a minute. Just gonna cut up a bunch of these eggs. Stay tuned guys, it's gonna be a good day. Let's get this fish in. Here. Got a coho on. Keep it tight, Dad. Keep it tight. No, no. Are we okay? Yep. Got a nice little fish. Yep. On Ed's uh, plug. We're gonna let this guy go. Yep. There he goes. He's off. Okay. Where's he at? Bobber and eggs. Bobber and eggs, right? Yeah, on this uh, cast king. I watched it, it just went straight down. I didn't get to see the takedown. Just bump straight down. I'll land it by myself, you just film. Alright. My GoPro, I turned it on. Have both of them filming, huh? That's a big, that's a big Chinook, I think. You know what? Yeah, it's a Chinook. There, keep fighting. Oh, that's a big fish. Are you going 
Yeah, but it's swirly. It's swirling me around. Okay. And he's made another run, huh? Dang. I'll bring him over here. Yeah. Bring him right up in here. That's a nice, that's a good sized fish. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful fish. I wish I could come over there. There you go. Right in the roof of the mouth. Look at that, guys. This is a hen here. Yep. I'm gonna let this fish go. Come off. Just pulled anchor. We're still kind of in the middle of our drift here. We've we've come across a lot of spots, but uh, man, you know, the water dropped about 400 CFS, and the bite just kind of turned off from when we were here last. And you never know, though. Stay tuned. We got some more water to cover. Got him? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's out there. He's away. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My position where I'm at stand up. Oh wow. Oh that might be a cold. Oh. Bobber and eggs. Bobber and eggs right here. I thought it was a coho at first. No, another. That's a nice Chinook though. Yeah. Huh? Beautiful high fish Chinook. He took some runs, huh? Yeah, he did. He took some nice runs. I got some on those runs on there. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice. That's another hen. Yeah. Isn't that fun though with the light rod? So hey, you want to uh, <laughs> net it here, or you want to bank it? Swallowed it. Uh huh. You did. Swallowed it, man. Let's see if he comes up right here, huh? I'll bring him up. Oh, that that that's a nice fish, dude. Huh? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, let's take it to the bank. Take it to the bank and release it, huh? Yep. Right there. It is a nice fish, though. Big hen, too. Huh? Like, I, I tried to remove the hook, guys. Uh, we're fishing barbless, but the thing is, is these eggs went so far into the mouth of the fish, I can't get them out. I'm probably gonna have to cut. I'm literally probably gonna have to cut, and you could see this fish is bleeding out. If this is kind of one of those crappy things about, you know, Chinook retention being closed and you're trying for coho and stuff, but uh, we're gonna let this fish go. Uh, it's probably just gonna go belly up. So I might show the clip, I might not, but. 
Right. You know. Ain't much you can do. Ain't much you can do. Like, look, look at this. Completely, completely down. So I'm gonna see what I can't do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try to release this fish in a minute here after I perform some surgery on it. Stay tuned, let's get some more fish. Hi right, guys, that's gonna conclude the day. We're gonna head uh, head back to the dock right now. Um, yeah, it's been a good day so far. Reach no, no coho, our target species. None of that, so just the way it goes. It's our last little hole. We were sitting on anchor right here, fishing the seam. Didn't get nothing to go, so I'll see you guys at the boat ramp. Alright guys, that's going to conclude the day. Three Chinook landed and a couple lost, a couple other bumper downs. Ed got some head shakes out of a, of a couple fish, so I don't know why uh, most of them weren't sticking today. Some of them might have been coho, you never know. But uh, It was alright. It was alright. We had a good time. You guys probably think I'm out here targeting Chinook, but that's not the case. We came down here for coho and, uh, well, they're just not here yet, which is weird because it's... You know, we're on the coast and it's October, what is it, late October? Yeah. I don't know, so, uh, anyway, we had a good time, always have a good time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna have more content coming up all the time. I'll be fishing down in Tillamook Bay here pretty soon and you guys are gonna see those videos as well. I'll be staying in a hotel again and uh, we're actually gonna be floating in Oregon River, not too far from there shortly after that, so. Hopefully you guys enjoy that up upcoming content, and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. Until next time, guys, tight lines. Oh, yeah, hit the subscribe button.